We're on talk mode, another quick episode of Waffle and Gibberish. So I'm going to be posing an interesting question, well, hopefully an interesting question to Wahab. Right, if you could have an extraordinary slash exotic pet or a wild animal, which one would it be? And th- that's, of course, providing, you know, you treat it fairly, you don't just cage it up or anything Oh, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, of course, of course, of course. So this is providing, uh, I've got... Unlimited amount of space where the wa- animal can be wild and free, but it's my animal, it's a pet, I've got a relationship with it, etc. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it, I get it. Well, I got my lion already. We've got Simba in the house. Uh, so that's my cat. So I would like to answer another cat. Maybe like a. I don't know, a white tiger or something. That would be the cool answer. Mm. Um. But seeing as I've already got my cat and I don't want, I wouldn't want another cat to come and like take over. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, that, 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 that space <laughs> within your heart for felines um, yeah, it's is already, taken up by your cat. Yeah, it's already full, man. Like, I don't <laughs> need another cat in the house. Um, oh, you, pose, you pose a very interesting question. I just, I just don't know. I mean, there's a part of me that would like, like, a bird of some sort. So, my favourite bird is an eagle. Mm. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't know, maybe an owl. Very, mm. very, uh, it's a very Harry Potter answer, which I know you'd hate. But, <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I my, think they're, uh, they're quite c- clever animals, aren't they? Yeah. I I might go off on a tangent if if you start talking about no nah, no nah, <laughs> don't you say a word against Harry Potter man you know I love that shit ruined my childhood <laughs> ruined your childhood yeah because it was integrated into the syllabus man it's a book in it so is I don't know okay but but it became part of English which is a compulsory subject yeah so is Romeo and Juliet who cares about them yeah, well ah. Uh, had my grievances against that as and well. Macbeth. Yeah, I hated that as well. There you go. You hate everything. That's that's your problem. No, that's <laughs> it's a you problem. Okay. <laughs> Instead of just saying, "All right, the entire class study Harry Potter or um, you know study Romeo and Juliet," why not give us what know, um, options and say, "All right, you know what? We've got five topics over here, so, all very different." So you want the teacher to now put like freaking mark like five different novels, so they have to learn all five novels, and then mark your different essays based on them. Whether you like it or not, Harry Potter is a modern classic. No, only because they forced children. No, to they, no, read no, it no, at no. A young age. It was already a modern classic before it became part of the syllabus. Ah. Uh. My my memory of Harry Potter, right, is w- the first time it came out, I think we were in primary school. Uh, no, the movies came out yeah. when we were in primary school. The books yeah. were already existing. Okay. About the first three or four. So, we were in primary school and I remember everyone, all the kids were so excited. Oh, we're going to go see Harry Potter. And, <laughs> right, and basically... Um, I remember we were at the cinema and everyone's just like, you know, think, oh, look, chocolate, a frog for three pounds, this, that. And in the back of my head, I was thinking, we already have a chocolate frog for 15p. It's Fredo. <laughs> right? Does it jump around? Wait, hold on. Wait. Uh, first of all, mm. I don't know what school you went to. And it wasn't the same one as me, so you can't use that answer. Oh. Not, not your primary anyway. I don't know what school you went to where the kids are watching a movie about magic and there's all these crazy things and they were interested in the chocolate frog. No, when we went to the cinema and the cinema was selling a chocolate frog for three pounds. So Mm, what a waste of money. Exactly. I agree. That's got nothing to do with the movie, mate. That's marketing. The cinemas is the big corporations. That's the topic on its own, but I just feel like, okay, 
You see, some of these books, right, they had a direct impact on your career path. Would you agree with that? Right, because on my career it, path? Well, or, 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 or on your career, uh, your educational success, let's say. Yeah, because, they made me better at English, I'd say that. Because we had coursework and assignments set on certain books and novels, right? Bro, let, let, let's be clear. You had no coursework or assignments or anything relevant to any sort of real grade that mattered in your life that was based on Harry Potter. Okay, maybe not Harry Potter, but Macbeth. That's a different story. We're talking about Harry Potter. Forget Macbeth. Shakespeare is his own issue. <laughs> Harry Potter, it's a phenomenal story. There's so much detail in those books. Just because you're not into fantasy does not mean that those books are not classics. But does that mean then in school... So from primary school to pretty much the end of secondary school, yeah, I should sort of be forced to no, no, read no. in the parties. No, no, no. You know. e- everyone is got their own choice. Obviously, yeah, you have different tastes in books. You, you know, maybe you wanna, you wanna read some sort of like crime thriller or whatever. I don't know what sort of books you're interested in. You barely read. Uh, I don't even know if you how know how to read. <laughs> but you know, the point is, you're into a different sort of genre. That's fair enough. But. You wouldn't know that if you hadn't read some different types of books to to figure out what you don't like, and I think it, it is a valid um, it's a valid situation for the our education system to expose you to all these different books and genres mm. um, because some people would never have read Harry Potter if they hadn't seen it in school. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's a fair it's a fair assumption for them to make to to get everyone to read some different types of books and like I said if you ignore the subject matter okay of fantasy wizards all of that if you want to leave that all aside the book itself like the way it's written the story the narrative it's it's such a brilliant book there's so much in there and obviously you you left it after the first book the first book is what you read in primary school right. Um, First couple of pages. Yeah, yeah. Um, whatever their school made you read, basically. Yeah. Um, so, so you never got to see the results of the little nuggets of information and narrative that the author chucked in in those books and how they paid off in the later books. You you didn't get to see that, so you can't appreciate the. Even if you didn't like the subject matter, you can't appreciate just the way it's written. It's just brilliant. Um, so uh, that makes sense to me but i still agree with the educational system to expose you to that sort of modern classic because it's such a brilliant book and as uh, as um as you saw with a lot of your fellow students a lot of people enjoyed it you didn't fair enough but a lot of people did and uh, they might not have got that chance if 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 the they hadn't been exposed to it. You see, a lot of people have only ever watched movies. The movies are nothing, nothing compared to the books. There's so much stuff they miss out in, in the movies. Uh, story wise, not. I'm not talking about the fantasy element. L- let's leave that aside. Just story wise, a progression of uh, um, a young orphan who happens to be famous in, uh, in a certain world, but just his progression as a character. In how he deals with the loss of his parents, and when he finds out how the hero lost them, and you know he's got this family that isn't treating him that well, but then he goes and makes a new family with all his friends that he meets at the school, and all of that. Just if you just ignore the whole fantasy situation, just that story alone, is, is just interesting. Is amazing the way the way it's done. You see the progression in the characters and all of that kind of stuff. So, if you hadn't, uh. If if the children hadn't had the chance to read that book, they would have missed out on that, you know? Mm. Hey, the thing is, this podcast, or this episode of Waffle and Gibberish, was a question about animals, okay? So let's go back to it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> After this rant about Harry Potter, <laughs> which will probably be the title of this episode, but still. 
Yo, you're probably <laughs> going to say like, oh, I want a three-headed dragon which can flip and swim. I'm... Yo, a dragon. A dragon would mental. I want a dragon. I changed my answer from an owl to a dragon. A dragon would be mental. But yeah, okay, no, realistically, um, oh, you know what? I think it would be a bird of some sort. Maybe a, maybe an eagle or an owl. That's where I'd end up. Somewhere along those lines. How about yourself? I'm guessing it's a lion. Yeah, v- <laughs> very tempted to say lion just because. Yeah. King of the jungle. Yeah. Um, basically, and you know. Um, I'm I'm also tempted to say elephant. Okay, and well. I, I didn't see that coming. Because of how sort of. Wary it'll be in the way that it can help you. Very yeah. strong. Yeah. Very intelligent. Yeah. Right, it can defend you. Yeah. In times of conflict, right? It can probably assist you in certain ways as well with its That's with, with the strength of its trunk or. Uh, That's very true. Um, and, and other things, it'll probably be enjoyable as well, just to travel with. Yeah. And so on. So. Now I like the elephant. Elephant answer is really interesting. Didn't expect that from you. I like that answer. That's cool. There's, there's something also about, um, like you know, uh, sort of an elegant bird that can travel long distance. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it just... That's that's why I that's why I, that's why I was like eagle or owl or something, along those lines. Like I really like the. It, I don't it, know. It'd just be so cool yeah. rather than sending someone a text. Just yeah. get your eagle. To, yeah. to, to, to post it to one of your, you know, yeah. to post a note to one of your friends. Or <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, that's interesting. And uh, right, uh, well, I think we got our answers. Uh, you'll have a, um, an elephant or a lion. I'll have Simba and uh, an eagle or a owl. And uh, you hate Harry Potter, and I love it. <laughs> well, that's that. We're out.